Hi everybody, welcome back to the Pixar Cars Thomas and Friends fan channel. It was a beautiful day in the town of Radiator Springs, and all of a sudden they could hear the truck coming. One truck, two trucks, three trucks, four, five, six, seven trucks on their way to downtown Radiator Springs. Yes folks, it's the annual traveling Play-Doh Circus. The cars started gathering around as Mac's first holler shows up with a big, big display on top. Part of the act, he said, is part of that. We have to unload all this stuff. The rest of the cars started gathering around when real Mac showed up with another big load. Make room for me, he said. I got something in the back of my rig, too. So Major says, What you got there, Mac? Open up your box and open and let it outside. So Mac said, Okay, time to open her up. We'll start this circus. So inside Mac's truck, it looks like a missile, but it's actually a plunger for making the Play-Doh creations. I'll put this down here, and then I can move out of the way. And let's unload the rest of the stuff. There's more trucks behind me. So Mac left his load right there on the road next to Mater, and the other Mac with the, uh, the big giant thing on top, and another plunger in here, unloaded his load. Wow, that looks like Sully from Monsters University. Are we gonna make Play-Doh Monsters University characters? Just then another truck pulled up. The Team Motor Max racing rig. I got something too on board, he said. Great, open at the back and let's see what it is. So the Team Motor Max racing rig opened up his box and out came another Play-Doh creation mold. All right, let's put that over with the rest. So the Team Motor Max racing rig pulled out of the way too and parked it back. Next, another rig pulled in. It was the Dynaco racing team hauler. I got something too, he said more Monsters University molds. Check it out. All right, says the holler. I'm moving out of the way too. More to come, they said. Here comes the Octane Gain holler. Wow, more molds from Monsters University. I think, or just Undersea Creations, I'm not sure. Okay, moving the way. Just then the Chick Hicks holler showed up. Hey, where's your stuff? Mine's inside, he said. Sure enough, inside the Chick Hicks holler is a Play-Doh cutter. Might need that for later. All right. Still one more left. Here it comes. It's Francisco Bernoulli's holler. Look what's on top. Another mold. All right. Now, is there something inside too? Let's open it up and have a look. Yes, we have Play-Doh scissors. We might need that for cutting our Play-Doh. All right, let's move all these trucks out of the way and get everybody lined up. So all the trucks gathered around the center town and all the props were ready for the big Play-Doh Circus. Of course, all the cars gathered around too. Even the digging rigs were watching this one. This one's gonna be big. First thing we're gonna do is set the big base together and make a big Play-Doh of Sully with hair. Okay, let's zoom in on Sully. And we'll fill him up with Play-Doh. What color hair will we make for him, I wonder? What color hair will we make? I think we'll go with crazy pink hair. Let's load up Sully with pink and we'll make pink hair come out of him. So we're gonna take a nice sized ball of pink Play-Doh. We're gonna jam it inside this and put it in the chair and push the piston through it. Okay, that's pretty full. Now I'm gonna install that to the base like this here. See that? It's really pushed in far. Get ready cars, we're about to make hair come out of Sully's head on Play-Doh. Here goes, now we're going to install the piston, like this. Better zoom up a bit. Like this, and now we're going to push down the base. And watch what happens. See it? Here it goes. <laughs> Crazy pink haired Sully. Here goes. Ta da! Look at that. And of course, if we want to give him a haircut, we have Play Doh scissors. Whoops. Play Doh scissors. Cut it up. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yay! The crowd was giving them a big hand for that one. All right, Sully, great job. Everybody is cheering. Whose turn is it next? Oh, I have to do this guy here. What color hair would he be good with? Yeah, there's Sully. You wait over here. 
And now we'll get this crazy guy, I don't know his name is, and put him in the chair and get ready to load him up. What color Play-Doh will we use? I think we'll go with slime green. I can't think of a better color than slime green for this guy's hair. There, see, I loaded it up pretty good. Now I'll mount that on the base, just like this. And now we're gonna install the piston. And I'll pan up so you can see. Okay, here goes. Green hair coming through okay? Yeah, perfect. Nice job. Now you can trim that too if you want to. We got the scissors, but we don't have to. Here, watch. He likes his hair. Okay, let's put him aside. Everyone loves the show. Everyone's applauding this Play-Doh show in Red Eater Springs. Oh, why are you watching Fillmore? Sorry, man, I was gassing up. I'm watching now. Okay, our next up is this crazy purple thing here from Undersea Creations. Well, we don't need that base anymore. This is small enough. He can do it on his own. Let's go with yellow Play-Doh for this guy. Let's load him up. There, that looks pretty good. Now let's put that on the base. Right there. Now here goes. What the heck? He looks like an octopus. Wow. There it is down here, look. Cool. That came really good. These are fun. What's next there? We have a lion. A lion's head. Where is it? There it is. Let's load him up with bright red Play-Doh. You want to see a lion with a red mane instead of a yellow mane? There's his head. We're going to fill that with red Play-Doh right here. Just like that. Push it in. Now, put the base here and squeeze it through. Here it goes. Whoa, that came really crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, let's put that aside. Now we have, it looks like a fish. Our last mold today is a fish. Let's go with funny blue. Have you ever seen a fish with blue? If you lived in the Mediterranean, you would, or the Caribbean, when you would see that all the time. There, he's stuffed with blue Play-Doh. Now let's put him on the mold and push down. Here goes. Oh, that looks really good. Just the right color, actually. Wow, that came nice, best of all. Check it out. Nice. Sounds like an angelfish. So there you have it. The town folks at Radio Springs. This is the first Play-Doh circus in town. And they all loved it. We got a beautiful lion. Uh, I don't know what these things are. Marshall University. Sully, of course. And an angelfish. Let's have a tour. So while the cars drove by, checking out all the Play-Doh creations and then it was time to go home so they load up all the stuff under the haulers and take them all the way to the next town. So everybody in town helped load all the trucks with the gear. There's uh, Mac getting the plunger put back in. He's ready to take off. See you guys, I'm ready to go. He's gone. See you Mac. And here comes the Dynaco King hauler. He's gone. Octane Gain, he's gone too with his mold on top. And they all help load the molds on top of the Chick Hicks holler. I'm out of here, he said. See you later. They loaded the team Motor Max holler. He's gone too. See you guys. Thanks. See you next time. And last but not least is Max's other rig. Thanks, guys. I'm fully loaded. Close the door. And off he went meeting the rest of them down the road. Wow, that was quite the circus, they said. We'd love to see that again next year. They all agreed it was the best time they had in Radiator Springs, the Play-Doh Traveling Circus. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you liked our little show. Have a great day, and please subscribe and watch more of our videos.